If your doctor says your liver enzymes are high, your mind is racing, is my liver failing, am I toxic? Do I need to do some kind of detox? What is going on? The panic is real. Well, what if I told you that the liver cleanse or the detox you're about to buy is probably going to be useless or at least really not help move the needle that much for this specific problem? Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Terranella and I'm here to help you optimize and improve your health. Today, we're going to cut through the marketing hype and reveal what your liver enzymes, when they're high, what it actually is telling you, because the key is to actually fix the problem, not to cover it up. So by the end of this video, you will understand the number one mistake that many people make with elevated liver enzymes, what those real causes actually are, and how to find the correct solutions. Okay, so let's get this straight right out of the gate. High liver enzymes like ALT and AST don't mean that your liver's detox systems are clogged up or having problems. It means that your liver cells are damaged and they're leaking out into your blood. You can think of it like this. The liver enzymes are the smoke alarms. They're not the actual fire. And so finding high liver enzymes in your blood just means that there's a fire in your liver. And many of the supplement industry claims lead you to think that you can just buy some air fresheners and get rid of the smoke. And so to me, that's a bit of a scam because what you want to do, of course, is get rid of the fire, put out the fire. Problem is finding the fire can actually be a little bit complex and there's a lot of different details to learn and understand about this. That's why I've put together all of my videos on liver health in one convenient place. You can check out the high liver enzyme playlist and hopefully that helps you out and it'll be linked in the description below. All right, so before we go hunting for the real fires, we have to rule out a common imposter that fools both patients and doctors alike, and that is the intense exercise. So for example, did you do your blood draw the day after a really tough workout? Well, if you did, what you want to recognize and understand is that the AST and ALT enzymes are not just in your liver, they're also in your muscle tissue. So when you exercise intensely, you create tiny micro tears in the muscle tissue. And each time you do this, the muscle then has to repair itself. And that's what creates the increased strength of those muscles and allows the muscles to grow and you get stronger. This is a normal, necessary process and why we work out to stay strong. The thing is, those damaged muscle cells will also leak out enzymes like the ALT and AST into your blood, temporarily showing that you have elevated liver enzymes. But in this case, it's not from your liver itself. It's coming from your muscles and it's completely harmless. So the bottom line is if you're an athlete or someone that's working out, or even if you're new to exercising and you got your blood tested close to some of those workouts, your first step is probably to take five or seven days off from that intense exercise and have your liver enzyme, liver numbers retested. You might find that the problem simply just disappears. Okay, so once we've rolled out the exercise as a cause for your elevated liver enzymes, we wanna hunt for those real fires, the real problems that are causing this ongoing issue for you. For most people, it comes down to these main culprits. Number one, the elephant in the room, if you will, is fatty liver, because it's probably the most common reason to have elevated liver enzymes outside of the other ones that we'll discuss, but fatty liver, also known as MASLD or NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, is the most common reason to have elevated liver enzymes. And basically what's happening is there's literally fat infiltrating the liver cells. It's usually driven by metabolic issues like insulin resistance, which comes about from diets that are higher in carbohydrates, higher in sugary foods, processed foods, but most of all, it's the overall carbohydrate load on the body. And it's more than the body can handle, in particular, the liver can store and use on a regular basis. As those carbohydrates continue to accumulate in the liver, they get stored as a fat droplet. So instead of it being processed inside the liver cell itself, it's stored as a fat droplet outside of the actual liver cells. So the fat itself is starting to stretch the cells from within, but it also will start to stretch the liver tissue as the droplets kind of expand and start to push and crowd out some of those liver cells. And that causes inflammation and damage. And sometimes the liver cells themselves do burst open and out comes the liver enzymes when that happens. And here's the nuanced thing to understand. In this case, your detox pathways 
might be fine because it's not actually a toxin per se that's doing this. Yes, it's an overaccumulation of fat, but taking a detox supplement for this is like trying to fix a flooded basement by polishing the furniture. It doesn't really remove the fat that's causing the issue. The only way to do that is going to be to address the metabolic root cause, which is the insulin resistance and the accumulation of that fat. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not any supplements that you can take that might help this metabolic effect, but we have to know what we're aiming at, taking a general detox supplement that might help with the overall detoxification pathways isn't going to get rid of that fat. Now, the second reason for elevated liver enzymes is going to be alcohol and medications. Well, this category is a little more straightforward because some of these substances are specifically hard on some of these detox pathways and start to strain the detox pathways. Two common examples are alcohol and acetaminophen. So alcohol directly puts strain on the detox pathways because you have to detoxify those alcohol molecules each and every time you consume that. Acetaminophen, the same thing, overuse of that depletes crucial antioxidant and detox molecules in the sulfation pathway called glutathione. Other medications also put strain on these detox pathways like statins, certain antibiotics can be culprits of this as well. Not everyone, of course, is affected just because you're taking these doesn't necessarily mean you need to support certain aspects of your detoxification. It's where your unique susceptibility meets your lifestyle, meets your body, and the toxins that you're consuming, like alcohol or specific medications. And this is where a more targeted approach might make more sense too, instead of taking a general detox supplement. An example would be if you're taking Tylenol and that's the only thing that really works for you, but you're getting some problems with your liver enzymes. Well, in this case, you really want to support glutathione production. And so you can take something like and acetylcysteine, which really does help your body make glutathione. There may be other strategies there too, but that's just one example, and it's going to help your body get rid of that toxin more efficiently. This is specifically addressing the root cause because that's what Tylenol does. It depletes glutathione, and that's partially how it damages the liver. So if your elevated liver enzymes are coming from one of these two things, your doctor may be digging a little bit deeper and probably should look into some of these things anyways, because sometimes there's multiple causes, but gut health is often another one that goes overlooked. So issues like SIBO or leaky gut can allow bacterial toxins. And there's one called LPS that's very toxic to the body and can directly injure the liver and other tissues in our bodies, causing a constant low-grade inflammation throughout the body. There's other toxins and things that the bacteria can produce that basically create a more stressed out liver. Hemochromatosis is something that I talk about quite a bit on this channel, and too much iron is definitely incredibly toxic to the liver. So if you have high iron levels and are being evaluated for hemochromatosis, you want to think about this as a potential cause for those elevated liver enzymes. And it's that oxidative damage. You can think of it like rust on a piece of iron sitting outside oxidizing the same thing is happening in your liver when you have too much iron. That's the first place that the excess iron goes when your body has nothing else to do with it. Of course, one of the more common things to think about when you do have elevated liver enzymes, we call that hepatitis and there's specific viral hepatitis that can damage our liver. Specifically, hepatitis B, hepatitis C are more common. There's also hepatitis A, which is a little more short-lived and typically you're pretty sick when you have that with GI issues. But Hepatitis B and hepatitis C can go undetected for many years and sometimes don't cause any symptoms until they start to progress. So these are good things to rule out if you have not been tested for those. There's also autoimmune hepatitis where your immune system is basically attacking the liver. So you start to see a pattern here, things like fatty liver, alcohol, issues with your gut, viruses, iron. These are all specific sources that lead to direct cellular injury, direct liver injury. And the high enzymes are the result, they're not the original problem. And so would you really want to take detox support vitamins if you are treating hepatitis C? And most, I think, would not wanna do that. And so point is just to know what you're treating and be specific about what you're trying to accomplish. Remember, the first step is finding the why behind those elevated liver enzymes. And to learn more about the causes of elevated liver enzymes, you might want to, again, check out that playlist on high liver enzymes. 
And I put all my relevant high liver enzyme videos there if you want a little more detail on how to go about some of these and the tests to do, et cetera. The bottom line is high liver enzymes mean there's liver cell damage occurring. And those liver enzymes are a direct measurement of the damage that's occurring. Not that you're toxic per se. So my advice is to not guess and actually test to figure out what is going on. Rule out exercise first, then you can work with your doctor and find the real cause of your liver enzymes. For most people, that's going to be some stage of fatty liver. And since fatty liver is the number one cause of elevated liver enzymes in the U.S. and many other parts of the world too, your most logical next step is going to be to learn about how to fix that. If you want to learn how to reverse fatty liver, watch this video next.